as an institution and peopled by our brothers and sisters who have volunteered to serve. And therefore, let us also understand that INEC is conducting elections across a large territory of 900,000 plus square kilometers. That's the size of the Federal Republic. It is diverse, it is expansive, it is a mixture of rural and urban and semi-urban territories. It is a logistic challenge. And let us continue to recognize that uh, we need to encourage Nigerians to sign up to serve their country. Our children who are youth coppers, our relations, cousins from across Nigeria, people we know, uh, so don't go and say it's my cousins that are in nine -nine. people we know across, across Nigeria are serving as an ad hoc staff. They are in their hundreds of thousands, if not millions. Clearly, we can't have a budget to keep them permanently in employment. So the process of training and all of that also is uh, challenging. So we must continue to, while we ask for service improvement at all times, we must continue to encourage those who volunteer to serve. So the process was quicker today. It took about five minutes or thereabouts for me to vote. All so, right, so, so that clearly shows that there has been some experience gained over two cycles of election. And I can also point out that the long queues that we had um, in the last exercise of the 25th of February are not here in my polling station today. But this is now a few minutes to midday. So it is possible that other people have voted since the exercise started. I have not had reports of delay in arrival of material. So therefore, I'm not in a position at this time to speak about voter turnout.